So welcome back to the channel guys, new video today. I'm gonna to show you how to install Classic Rebirth, which is a mod for the PC version of Resident Evil 2. Gonna show you step by step how to create an installation and copy it to your Steam Deck and get it up and running in either gaming mode or desktop mode. I'm gonna share all the links down below. As I said, this is a six step process. I'll share the links in the description and any command lines that you need. However, I won't be sharing where you can get a copy of Resident Evil 2. That's up to you to figure out. Other than that, it's going to be clear and concise. Let's do this. Okay, so let's get started with the mod. And I'm going to do this in six steps. You need access to a PC and you need access to your Steam Deck. But we're starting the tutorial on the PC, so the Windows PC. And the very first thing we need to do is we need to get the source next version of Biohazard 2. I'm not going to tell you where to get that. Google is your friend. And let's just say it's archived on the internet is all I will say. I own multiple copies of the original Resident Evil 2. I'm playing this. I own the PC version as well. OK, so once you obtain the ISO file for source next version, what we want to do is we want to then go to a website called classicrebirth.com and in the game section you want to click Resident Evil 2 Classic Rebirth and it will bring you to this page. We need two files from here or you can take more if you wish. If you want to get high quality sounds and stuff like that, that is up to you. I'm not doing that in this tutorial so I'm going to be simply getting the Classic Rebirth DLL. So go ahead and click that, download that. You can minimize that for now, we don't need to open it. And you want to get the official patch by Source Next. So Source Next, just to explain, were a company who created the PC ports of Resident Evil 1, 2 and 3 on the PC. So uh, download the official 1.1.0 patch by them. Click that also. Go to download. Don't again close these, don't open them. Go back. Uh, we're finished on this page. You can close this. And what we're going to do is we're going to minimize. Now I've downloaded all these files onto my desktop into a folder called RE2. So at the moment, you should have the required source next ISO, the rebirth, classic rebirth file as well, and the patch. So these first three files we're focusing on now. Uh, go ahead and mount the ISO. So you're going to right click and mount it. Or you can use uh, an ISO tool to mount it if you're not using the Windows one, the Windows 10 inbuilt one. Going to hit open. Now we don't need to actually run setup or anything like that. Just go into data, copy everything from the data folder and go to your desktop. And now I'm going to create a new folder again called Resident Evil 2. And you're going to paste everything that I've just copied into that directory. While that's copying, back out and go to the root of the ISO file. Now you will, you should, you need a CD key for this and you should find a CD key dot text within this ISO. You're going to copy that CD key. I'm not going to open that here in this video. So go ahead and have that copied. Go back to your Resident Evil 2 directory. OK, go ahead and delete the bio2.exe that's in this folder. We don't need this. OK, go back to your RE2 or wherever you've downloaded your files. And the next thing we want to do is we want to extract the patch. So go ahead and extract bio2.1.10.exe into your newly created Resident Evil 2 folder. The next thing you want to do is you want to open up RE2CR 2020, which is again the rebirth mod, and it just has one single DLL file called ddraw.dll. So go ahead and extract that and put that also into the root of that directory. Now, what we want to do next is in our newly created Resident Evil 2 directory, we want to go ahead and open up bio2.1.10.exe. So you will get an initial warning prompt saying no any configuration was detected, just hit OK. And in this case here, under the install key, copy that CD key I mentioned. In this case, I'm pasting it in. OK, so paste in your install key. You need to ensure to set your color scheme to RGP 888. OK, I enable quick turn because that introduces the quick turn feature from Resident Evil 3, which is brilliant, I find. Uh, you can increase the resolution I recommend for Steam Deck. You're going to set this to full screen. But for now, we leave it at 16 by 200. I get into the configuration details later again when we get to the Steam Deck. Uh, make sure you set your input method to X input if you, because we want to use our Steam Deck controller and everything else should be fine. One, one other thing, do not check the legacy frame rate. Do not have this checked. Make sure that's unchecked. Hit OK and it'll launch the game. OK, we will immediately close out of that. 
So once you've done all that, you basically have a working folder with Resident Evil 2 and Classic Rebirth installed and configured. However, we need to get it onto our Steam Deck and set it up on our Steam Deck. So what's the next thing we got to do? We actually got to transfer the installation directory from our PC, our Windows PC, to our Steam Deck. So let's go ahead and do that now. So what do we need? We need a program called Winpinator, which is based off Warpinator, which Warpinator is a file share utility over a network from a, the Linux device, in this case, SteamOS to Windows PC back and forth. So it allows us to send this uh, over a network, which I find is the easiest method of transferring files from your Windows PC to your Steam Deck. So go ahead and download that. As I mentioned previously in my RE2 folder, I have that here. I'm going to go ahead and set that up. So English, OK, go to next, go to I agree, go to next. Um, ensure Explorer integration is enabled. I find that is the handiest. In click install. We're going to run a uh, Winpinator. OK, and immediately you want to go to file preferences and make sure your connection code group code is one, two, three, four. And I explain that later, later on. And now we're ready to swap over to our Steam Deck because we have some work to do on that. So over on our Steam Deck, if, in case anybody is wondering, I am using the Steam Deck in docked mode. So I have a laptop dock and I'm connecting it to my capture card I'm using in desktop mode. So you need to exit gaming mode and go to your desktop mode. OK, and in this case, we want to open the Discover Center, which is the software center. And we're going to search uh, Warpinator uh, go ahead and install that. I've installed that already. It's just pretty much install. And once it's installed, launch it. And when you launch it, immediately go to preferences here. So drop this little down window down preferences. And again, set your connection to one, two, three, four as a group code. So the group code must match the PC. So in the PC, you've set it to one, two, three, four, and it's also set to one, two, three, four on your Steam Deck. Once that's done, goes out of that. And what we want to do is we want to actually want to find the PC. So in this case, if both War Warpinator and Winpinator are opened on PC and Steam Deck, you will see your PC over your wireless network. So your local wireless network on, in your house or your home or wherever. Um, I'm going to swap back to my PC now because we need to send files to the Steam Deck. Back over on the Windows PC, you will see Steam Deck user and its connection is ready. So we're going to hit next and we want to send a folder. So go to send folder and we're going to select our newly created Resident Evil 2 folder. Select that folder. We're going to have to swap back to our Steam Deck again. So go ahead and do that now. So if you have Warpinator open down the very bottom, you will see uh, Mick H, in this case is me, would like to send you files, accept and click into the desktop PC and it'll say waiting for approval. Click that and the file transfer will begin. So let it download. So once that's downloaded, what we're going to do is we're going to find the newly uh, downloaded folder on our Steam Deck. So in this case, it will be in home and you will see a newly created folder called Warpinator, which the program in creates when you install it. And underneath that, you'll see Resident Evil 2. I'm going to cut that and put that onto my Steam desktop. So paste one folder and I'm going to leave that folder there for the moment. We're not going to do anything with that. We need to go back to our PC again. So back over on our PC, go ahead and create a new text file. So we're going to call this text document. You can just leave it as new text document. Go into that and type the following. OK. So this line here, you want to copy that and save that into the text document. OK, we need to send that to our Steam Deck as well. So go ahead and send a file this time. Go to RE2 and send your new text document again, swapping over and acknowledging on your Steam Deck that you're sending it the file. So I'm going to set accept here, green tick. So we have a new text document. I'll explain what this command is for shortly. So what we want to do is now we want to we want to add Resident Evil 2 as a non Steam game and a few command lines in order for, to get it to work. So go ahead and open Steam. We're going don't open gaming mode, just open a regular session of Steam. Go to games. You're going to go add non Steam game. We're going to go to browse, hit our desktop, find Resident Evil 2, go to bio 2, 1.10.exe, and hit OK and add selected programs. That will be under installed locally, and you'll see one called bio 2 1.10.exe. Right click that and go to properties. OK, and go to compatibility first and use force to use a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. We need to use Proton in this case. So I'm using Proton Experimental, which will work fine. Go back to your shortcut and most importantly, in the launch options, we need to force the configuration of Resident Evil 2 to reopen in order to recreate a registry entry uh, within our Steam OS. So if you remember the file we downloaded, uh, go, so go and file that new text document file. In this case, go back to home again. 
go to Warpinator and open up that new text document and copy that command string exactly as I told you it was. Again, I will put that in the description of this video as well for anyone who needs to know it exactly line by line. Paste that in here as a launch option. OK, very, very important. This will not work unless you do this. So close. And we're going to hit play. And eventually what will happen is we will see the configuration page launch. And in this case, we're going to recheck all our configuration. OK, uh, you needn't. Uh, you can leave the CD key as it was. It'll be transported uh, from the folder. X input, make sure that's set. Enable quick turn. And again, setting full screen in this case, or you can go 640 by 480. But I recommend you use full screen and I'm going to hit OK. And the game launches on your Steam Deck. And as you can see, I'm using my Steam Deck here. Let's go to original mode. Let's go Leon normal. And I'm going to test this on my Steam Deck briefly. But bear in mind, as I said, you can mod this. You can add mods and everything else. And um, I kept this to the basics, the PC version without mods. Um, but as you can see, you can mod this to, to your heart's content. Um, but as you can see, running perfect on the Steam Deck. And that's it. That's Resident Evil 2 Classic Rebirth installed on your Steam Deck step by step. Hope everyone enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, please consider supporting my work. Put a lot of effort into these. And um, yeah, share some comments down below and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.